Hello, my name is Abe and welcome back to Blasphemous 2. I've been playing a lot of this lately. Okay, I guess we're starting. <laughs> but I've been enjoying the game a lot and I've been learning a lot. Like how sometimes the dash has iframes, but I think it's very much dependent on the enemy you are fighting. Recently, we have defeated two of the three opening bosses. There's still one more here at the Crown of Towers to take out. Uh, there is a lot of... branching paths that I should probably backtrack and explore. But instead of doing that, why don't we just progress forward, kill the third boss, and then maybe put our toes into whatever the next forward progression is gonna be. Hope that we get some sort of Metroidvania style upgrade where we can like have like a, a another jump or something. I mean, we already have double jump, but uh, the, the yellow hidden invisible blocks, maybe we can see those. That would be fine. I'd be fine with that. But for now, let's just fight the next boss and go from there. Should be able to fight the next boss in about two seconds. And yes, I'm just gonna go do it. I'm not gonna explore. I'm gonna go fight. What's over in this direction? I forgot. Oh, right, I remember now. I crossed that multiple times, I think. You know, I have immediately forgotten that I do have a double jump. Whoa. And I've immediately forgotten that I have these sick weapons that have different forms that we should be utilizing as well. Not only this one, but this one has a like blood form that can life steal as long as you keep attacking with it. That's pretty good. Uh, we need to go... This, I don't know what it is. Oh, we can definitely go up, but we have to have like a third jump or something? <laughs> really? You're gonna give me a third jump in this game? I mean, I'll take it. I hate that. I hate when <laughs> you parry and then you're in the enemy. All right, well, goodbye the red meter that I just built up. Um, how do we how do we progress from here? How do I go up? Oh, this, I gotta go down and then left. Okay, I'm in the wrong place, the wrong location. We gotta go this way. Carl Chaos, welcome, how are you doing today? Welcome to more blasphemous. as we fight the next boss. I do love having the double jump. It's so much more maneuverable, as you would expect. All right, checkpoint. Don't travel to the city, because I don't think we can come back. Let's do it. I live. I live again inside this merciless and cold metallic casing. I live in this cage in the shape of what was long ago my body. I live, and I feel that I am directed by forces that undermine mine own will. I live, although when I close my eyes in the intimate darkness behind my eyelids, I am still dead. He's like a head in a jar? I mean, I can do that too, buddy. Why use any weapon that's, ooh, okay. Why use any weapon that's not the mace? Because the mace is best. Inc incorrupt Sacristan. I don't know what a Sacristan is, but uh, my lord, we do a lot of damage. He did punch me once. And he is just a, he is a floating decapitated head. And he's not dead. He's dead.
Hold on. I tried to parry that one. Come here. Come on. Roll me. Roll me, baby. Yes. I don't know if I can actually parry that. He doesn't have that much health, though. Can I not parry this guy? Maybe I can't parry his magical nonsense. He's definitely not that strong, though. Am I? I'm not parrying it, am I? I can parry this. Yeah, I don't think I can actually parry that ability. I guess it's magic. But what's weird is that I, I was able to parry the uh, the single shots. I guess just jump over it forehead also works, but I was really hoping to have like a special parry thing I could do. All right, I might have been a little cocky. It's still not that hard of a fight. You just gotta pick one enemy to focus on. I might not be able to do it in one life here. They're also not that, not as aggro. I definitely need to uh, do this again, though, and not use all my heals early. <laughs> but if I can take one out, oh, well, I can still take one out. I can possibly do the second one, as long as I don't screw it up. I ducked. <laughs> yeah, there you go. First try. His hat is bigger. He's compensating. He did have a bigger spiral hat for some reason. It's a tiny rogue. Yeah. Literally yesterday you were defending the daggers. I mean, I haven't fought this boss before. This is the first time I fought this boss, but I was surprised I was unable to parry the spinning move. That's okay though. Be witness to this vigil before my final journey. My body has been returned to me at last. I am now master of this flesh, of this trembling, of this agony. How sweet the pain when it is our own, penitent one. You who came to witness the miracle, behold. But the miracle who bestows and wrests away its grace with inscrutable agency, saw its will tarnished in its prolonged absence. Erring in its newly created work, it conferred on that child as much its own as that of another. The blessing of deformity, it spread throughout our land like a contagion. Its accursed seeds germinating like the wounds that sprout upon the scourged flesh of the repentant. The dying day already puts out its celestial light, causing my eyelids to droop. Let the miracle cast open its black gates, so I might venture to wear that terrible dream from which one never wakes, awaits.
So are they trying to explain where the miracle came from? Or I guess they the miracle created the child, so the miracle, I guess, existed before that, right? What does this have to, what does all, this, all of this have to do with the heart, though? Also, that's the five doves. I'm, I'm a dummy. That's definitely a required thing. The full testimony has been revealed to you, and the counterfigure of the witness has at last descended. The three great stone figures of the family have humbled themselves before us all. Raise your eyes. As the dazzling beauty of the upper reaches of the City of the Blessed Name welcomes you. Now go forth. Let not doubt leave its vexatious mark upon you. The full test the Okay, we've already read this. Now. So we've unlocked hard mode. <laughs> we've unlocked phase two, which is oh. Ah, uh... That's what this upper tower thing is about. I was wondering, like, it's just a long hallway of nothing on the rooftops. That makes a lot more sense. Oh, Jesus. Wait a minute. Wait a minute! Why is this here? <laughs> There's definitely something over to the right, but why is this, why is this like a shortcut down? Why did I go this path? Why did I do this to myself? Um, I guess we're just waiting for the super dash. Whatever it is, whenever it is, to show up. I guess we can just go down and then use the teleport. Hello. And on back. And I think we will go to the upper city. There's still more to explore, quite a Quite a lot, actually. But I, I still need to have, like, that ability, the yellow one. If I get that, I can go through, like, the entire map and explore what I've missed out on. Except for a couple of things, like the ink and, uh, well, definitely the tower here. There's something here I can't access. A path I can't access. I don't know why. I don't know how to access it. But! We can move on. How guilt-ridden am I? I met Immaculatus. Good, good. No reason to spend money recovering guilt, I think. Oops, go from here. Thank you. And let's see what's up here. I can't jump on this. We'll go to the Nameless City. Oh, it's like a, it's a new room. It's the merchant. I'm hearing a bell in the distance. Maybe it's this guy. The upper reaches of our city, once unreachable and unfathomable, have descended. Countless legends tell of the many secrets that the heights have hidden and laid watch over for seeming eternities. Can it be the city that prostrates itself before so many parishioners, beckoning us to witness the birth of the child more closely? What holiness lies before us? Cast your eyes upon our shop. Maybe the um, heart is another is child pit? being born? So there's going to be two? I don't know. It's not my place to know, it's my place to find out. Interesting. How does anyone else get up here? Uh, I guess we'll just uh, do this. Wait a minute. Like, I saw another thing here. I guess we gotta go down the entire right side. Just in case there's a, another item. You game. Well. 
Had to check. Go figure of them to put a uh, <laughs> secret up against the, the weird wall that exists here. I think I missed something. I missed like an entire area. It didn't fill in the, the one block that I was in. Well, I imagine that this part of the game is gonna start get start getting a lot harder. Yeah, these enemies are a lot tankier. Although that is still the same enemy that he was before. Okay. Now, does that mean he's getting literally twice as hard? I don't know. <laughs> I forgot the dash move already. Look, I'm just gonna smack you with the mace. It's the easiest thing. Hmm. It's gonna be, it's gonna be rough. It's gonna be rough. But I'm gonna keep moving forward, hoping that there is another... Goodbye. <laughs> what a strange enemy. Hoping that there's gonna be another ability unlocked soon. The Demented One. Well, don't fall. Sorry, don't lose your head. Mm. Yeah, what's up? Empty receptacle, it's another flask. Oh, how long it's been. But we also can't go through this direction anymore. Okay. Can't go up there either. Although it does look like this is a spiral staircase, so I'd imagine you could go up there, just not from the side. That guy is a jerk. You know, I kind of wish that you could keep your charge on your weapon when you swap, because there's a lot of situations like this where you kind of need to have a specific weapon equipped to do some platforming and then you lose your charge. Like, I, I lost the electricity. That makes sense. <laughs> Hold on, reset the challenge. I get it. I have to use all three of my weapons here. And then... Huh. Slice and dice. I don't know what the best way of dealing with you is, honestly. Attacking seems to be the best. You know what, uh, what is it, RBX? He was just, <laughs> right, it, it, I forgot it cost you your health to activate the ability on the sword. Ah, yes, I definitely forgot about that. <laughs> God damn it, well, look. I've already fought these guys. See ya. Ah. <sighs> one day, one day I'll be smart at video games.
Gotcha. <laughs> hey, I gotta keep my, uh, my charge this time, too, because I know where I'm going. Okay, just lost it. Just use the mace. All right, fine, have it your way. Get mace bashed. <laughs> so bad. Oh, thank you. So this guy has an optional to attack. He doesn't have to use it. See how annoying you can be when you're the leveled up version, I assume. Gotta remember, my dash doesn't actually go through him, so I can't use the, uh, the blades to do so. We just, we just smack and smack. I guess this is an enemy that you could probably very easily use the daggers, the, the, sorry, the single dagger, the single sword, and then heal off of it when you use the, the blood ability. Actually, the purple ones are the ones that have two attacks, don't they? Yeah, they're the upgraded form. Come here. Wow, that didn't even stun you? electrical damage from the previous game. Could you not? You are very annoying. Hmm, another checkpoint. That's actually like very fast to get to a second checkpoint, I think. Also, that head rolls very, like, perfectly. <laughs> it's a very perfectly rolling head. This is an enemy where that works perfectly. Oh, yeah, good point. Wow, so impossible. Nah, we got it. Just jump up here and hit the hit the button, forehead. And, oh, this is not actually our shortcut. It's an upgrade to the mace, finally. Benedicto, level two unlocked. We can finally get the second tier upgrades here. Let's take a look. Oh, I haven't even upgraded like hard this at all hardly. <laughs> you can hold a charge of Veredicto in the air. Release X in the air to perform the Azure Typhoon, a powerful aerial attack that hits both sides. I was wondering why you couldn't do this. Now you can. Definitely spend a point into there. Thunder of Mercy creates shockwaves on the ground on impact. That seems kind of cool. Let's do uh, do that as well. Or maybe. Yeah, sure, why not? It uses all of my marks, but I don't care. Because now I can charge it up in the air, but not using double jumps. It's very interesting. I'm okay with that. Dong. You know what I like? I like how in this game there doesn't seem to be an ability that lets me fall through platforms forever. <laughs> like, fall down through elevator shafts and whatnot. Like, now I don't have to worry about that nonsense. Because it was a little bit 
nonsensical previously. The votive offering of the miserable. Slightly increases the tears, no. Slightly increases resistance to all elementals. I refuse to be an idiot about that again. <laughs> Too late, I know. This should be our shortcut. And I think we're about to get whatever this yellow ability is because how can I activate the shortcut? I can't. How can I jump up here? I can't. New things are happening. Let's definitely make sure we put a uh, treasure icon there and a dead end icon there. I will just put a blue mark just to, just to remind myself in the future, come back. Wait a minute. Make sure we do that. Okay. Ah! It's the shortcut here to the big baby. And we've actually reached our first payout for the big babies. Penitent one, help us yes, by free. Yes, I understand. Thank you. Thank you for the big baby uh, reward. Man, I wish I could turn the voices up even more. I don't even need all the babies. I've got a double jump. A mark of martyrdom. Uh, it's something, all right. All right. Well, uh, this was a little unexpected. <laughs> I guess we need to go here, because there were still passageways here at the elevated temples, or maybe even this previous checkpoint we were at. Definitely still something somewhere. I don't think there were any other places to go here, because I can't jump up there. So move up. And climb up. Actually, we can't go up anymore. I can't reach this. Uh oh, I can go here though. Sometimes they split, but they don't always split. Hey, okay, come here. All right, that's a pretty cool ability, actually. Especially if I can use it against this guy. Like, right there. Just wait for him to breathe fire. Give him a little hop. Whoa, no, 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 I wanna kill him with his shield. <laughs> Ow. It's pretty effective. That should kill both of these guys. Well, not quite, almost. Yeah, that's a very effective move, I like it. I was in the fire. Lots of these combat rooms. Man, that like changes the use of this weapon so considerably to be able to charge it up in the air. Yes, please. Ow! 
You know, why am I on this path? Yeah, I was gonna say that probably doesn't work, does it, against this guy? Let's see. Oh, oh, oh I'm dumb. I could have just gotten past him, but I wanted to kill him. My, my, how I normally play these is that I gotta kill every enemy once, then I can run past him. You guys, you know, you're just you just suck. Get out of here. Oh no, my asthma damage. You, I can jump over your head. Could hit you from behind a whole bunch, but I don't want to. Hello, friend. <laughs> you s like you don't keep your damage dealt. How did that miss? Wrong weapon, that's why. I guess I should also maybe try to uh, actually parry him a little bit. This enemy is so annoying. Also his like electrical spheres are not always aimed where you are. They're aimed like a little bit up or a little bit down. So that used all of the charge of it, which I'm not happy about, but I guess that's why there, I, I think there was a uh, upgrade to this so that it doesn't use all of your charge. Okay, that pulls this back if we needed it. Oop, shortcut. Lots of, uh, lots of passageways so far. I don't know what's with the falling blood droplets. Oh my god, not another one. I guess I just want the extra electrical damage. <laughs> You've acquired one mark of martyrdom, and that fool has been destroyed. Also found a teleport point, which is nice. A completely empty hallway, which is very troublesome and frightening, and I don't know why that's there. Hold on, I have to, uh... Lose my electrical ability to get the Fervent Kiss. It's another one of those hankies. Might be down A, down... <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good point. I should probably use, like, my super spells on them, which I never do. The fire damage is really nice because it does DOT. Like it lasts for a little while. I will I will strive to use this stuff more often. So our quick is a lightning attack and our low ability is a, oh, what the heck? Our slow ability is the fire-based one. It's not slow, it's just slower. I mean, they are literally called quick. Yeah, 
Thank you. So we'll do that first. Oops. How many bosses are down? We killed the first three bosses, and then also, I killed a boss down here and beneath her sacred grounds. And that's what gave me the double jump ability. Um, is this intentional? <laughs> Did I just, like, skip ahead? I mean, I can't access the ladder, but I guess I can from down here, right? Maybe not, actually, I don't know. I feel like I may have just skipped something. Maybe I skipped it. Nothing. Nothing at all. Well, what was over here? Didn't quite work the way I wanted it to, but that's fine. Wins good, but it does leave you a little bit vulnerable. Oh, more than a little. Hi. Clonk, clonk, clonk. Clonk, clonk, clonk. Whoa, you're a different version. Touching him. Whoa! That thing did a lot of damage. I thought I I thought my health was alright. Happens a lot in this game. I like can't I don't quite notice when I take a whole bunch of damage and I'm nearly dead. Alright. And we definitely have to have the double jump to get through this area. Like this is that's not even a question. It's a requirement. I can't go this way. I can go this way. do that much damage. I should do more like parries and such, you know? <laughs> but then you get me of that problem again, which is just you uh, parry the enemy, you still take damage. What's over here? It's another bed! <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> what does it mean? I think I marked the other one too. Where did I put that mark? I think it might have been this one. Just an empty bed. Alright, well let's go get our souls back. <laughs> 